Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and test out the latest Avast. Um, this would be the 2016 version of Avast Free. Um, or as it's officially versioned, I think it's like version 12 something. It is supposed to be the lightest Avast yet. So we shall, we, uh, shall see. I'm going to go ahead and do the free one because that's what most of my clients prefer. Anything free. It is only six megabytes to download. That is pretty tiny. It's if I right click on it, hit properties, and go to details, we're gonna take a look at version twelve dot one dot three oh seven six dot zero. That's a lot, that's a mouthful. Um the size is five point nine six megabytes. And they make it very easy for you to install. I am only going to take a look at the protection capabilities of this. There's really no reason to take a look at removal of anything anymore because most of the malware that I see these days are just nothing but ransomware. So that's pretty much it. It's either you go to a website and they lock your browser down kind of and make you call a 1-800 number and try to scare you. Or you get some ransomware installed in your computer that encrypts everything. And that's pretty much it these days. So, um, that's kind of annoying. I'm just going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to only install a few items. The rest of this stuff I'm not installing. I, I don't know. It's kind of bloaty in my opinion. So we're going to do file shield, web shield. We'll come down to here and we'll take a look at how fast this takes to install. Today at work, um, I was confronted with a ton of malware that was coming and hitting our spam filter. So I um, downloaded a few samples. All of these samples are from today. So this is zero day malware. And um, we're basically we're just going to drag and drop to the computer that has a vast and see if the vast can protect us or not. This would be, like I said, a vast free 2016. We'll probably spend uh, another day with it. Just give it two days. Let's go ahead and open up the um, interface. It did install pretty fast. It's going to open someday, trust me. Uh, okay. It says, I am protected. Read carefully. So, okay, I didn't even read it. Uh, no, I don't want it on my phone. Uh, let's see, we don't need to run a smart scan because I know this computer is completely clean already. I don't really want to change anything. I just kind of want to have it installed as is just to check out the, you know, default protection. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. I just want to make sure that we're updated. Update. Uh, okay, we're already up to date. Okay, so let's start our test right now. Let's head over to our computer uh, with the oops with the malware downloaded, and this is a DOCM. This would most likely download a um, piece of ransomware or cryptware. And we'll drag and drop that, and let's see if um, Vast has anything to say about it. No threat found. Um, so what I'm going to do, I should have done this in the beginning, my mistake. I'm going to download a word viewer. Just so I can try to open some of these. No. Oh 
Oh boy, that's not going to work. I, I don't know why they would offer a 2003 viewer still. Uh, whoops, word viewer 2013. Let's try that. I thought they had one. All right, hang on. I'm going to pause this real quick. All right, well, that's pretty stupid. They don't have one that I see. So what we'll do is we'll uh, check this this file with a uh, virus total and see if it is indeed okay. So let's head over to virus total. And we'll choose a file. We'll choose this guy right here. Let's scan it. Yeah, so you can see it's already somebody already uploaded it. It's a, it's a malicious file. Uh, if I did have Office installed in here, and I will do that in future build of my testing box, um, I probably would have been able to open that. Let's try the compatibility pack. It's a DOCM, an infected one. We know that from virus total. Let's try to open it again, and uh, you know, Avast just lets us open it. It doesn't say anything. If I try to scan it again, no threat found. So that's kind of a fail in my opinion. So I know for sure that it's in fact it's a malicious smile. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a malicious smile uh, file. Okay. Anyway, let's try another one. Another DOCM. Let's scan it with a vast. No threat found. We'll upload it to virus total. I can't type with the microphone in front of my face. Why am I using Edge? Choose that. I'm pretty sure they're the same type of file, but we'll choose the latest one there. Okay, yeah, this one's infected as well. 15 out of 55 engines. We can view the last analysis. And you can see who detected it. Pretty reputable dudes. And you can see a vast that it was fine. But a lot of these guys say it is. And it's a Trojan downloader, which it is. Uh, I get to use it every day. Uh, this is a doc file. Let's pull out this doc file. Let's just go ahead and delete these guys. We don't need them anymore. There we go. Um, pull out this dock. Let's scan it with a vast. No threat found. Try to open it. This document is protected. Whatever. Let's go ahead and upload it to virus total. I should just keep that open. I don't know why I keep closing it. I'm out of practice. All right, choose file. This guy, scan it. Yeah, so it's infected. Uh, eight out of 53. View last analysis. 
So you can see who detected it. It's malicious in some way. I don't know what way. And I don't know why Avast is just ignoring these things, because they do download horrible uh, ransomware. Cryptware. Alright, uh, the last DLCM. Same deal. Scan it. Nothing. It's just going to make me mental. I don't know why I keep closing this. Uh, upload it. Twelve out of fifty-five. Yeah, so they completely ignore these these um, these word files that download cryptware eventually. You know, if you have macros enabled or they prompt you to enable macros, you're hosed. It's just so crazy. All right, last two. They're two zip files. Just drag that out there. Annual report. It's a Windows script file. We well, don't see that often. Scan it. No threat found. <laughs> Shocking. Uh, let's go ahead and upload it. See if anything was found there. Eh, four out of fifty-five. Let's see what they say. Doctor Web, Nano, Qho. It's a downloader. I mean, yeah. It, it, they send these to our to uh, our organization, and they get caught in our spam filter. It, it's typical. Email sent to a corporate environment where somebody would actually open that and, um, you know, think it's legit. And, and it just silently downloads malware in the background. <clears throat> All right. Uh, last file for today. Another zip file. Company account. Now, you know, a lot of these are sent to our account people, accounting people. You, know, you wouldn't think twice about opening up a zip file. You see company account, E5, you're like, oh, what the hell is this? You know, you try to open it. Go ahead and scan it real quick. Right, no threat found. Try to open it. Oh, okay, a vast. A vast finds it when you try to execute it. That's a little unsettling. You should be able, they should be able to scan and look inside that code and, um, just kill this just kill this file I should be able to scan this right now and this is no threat found it's, it's just totally messed up so not impressed at all so far with what I see at the new Avast at least in like a corporate environment you should be able to you know I should be able to right click this zip file scan it and see that there's malicious code in there anyway that is my video for today um, I'll be back uh, with another one, assuming I get a bunch of malware tomorrow. Just depends on how much malware I get per day. So I, I like to use my own malware. I don't like to use malware on other websites. I like to get fresh zero day custom malware sent to me, you know. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.